Morning, everybody. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. I've got a 3000 watt generator here that was brought over to me to fix, and I'm going to have a look at it and see what we can do with it. Um, I don't know how long since it's last been used, but um, I was told it probably won't run. And when I looked in the gas tank, it's definitely full of varnish, what you would call varnish. It smells just like varnish when you open that up. So the gas is old and definitely needs to be drained at the very least. And I checked the oil and it is thick black sludge. So I don't know what condition the engine will be in, but that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I hope that shows up very well. I can't see because the sun in my eyes. Really thick. Uh, the poor engine suffered at some point in its life. Well, in its last uses, I guess. That is very, very bad for the engine. So I'll be, at, I'll be needing to change the oil for sure. And I'm going to have to probably clean the carburetor and uh, drain the gas tank. Now, I don't want to clean the carburetor if I don't have to. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the bowl, see if there's any sludge in there. The gas tank, um, the gas hose, the gas line is going to have to be replaced because it's rotted at the end and it's too short to reach. So I'm definitely going to have to replace the, uh, the fuel line as well. It's, it's actually come right off the, uh, the carburetor. So that's going to be a given as well. I'm not sure. I might be able to put some, some gas in the carburetor and see if the engine will run normally um, without a carb clean out. But, you know, we're going to have to troubleshoot and see. So that's what we got so far. My first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot a bit of uh, carb cleaner in here and see if it'll sputter and see if it's got spark, if it's going to run at all. The uh, spark plug wire is loose. The clip is loose. And the clip off. Oh, there. The clip that holds that an engine has come off. That helps to have that back in place. Keeps that out of the way. So, I'll get some tools and we'll open it up and shoot a bit in there. See if it even sputters. Okay, this one's convenient for changing the air filter. There's two little screws here, top and bottom. And then this turns. Oops, it already was turned a little. All right. And the air filter is going to need replacing eventually at some point in this job. The air filter is old. Uh, open the choke up. I got some carbon choke cleaner. I just want to shoot in and see if it's going to sputter. Um, the kill switch is the, the um, a metal tab you push up on there, so there's nothing there to... There's no on-off switch on this. Sounds like... It smells like it did something. Yeah. Alright, it's going to run. You heard it sputter, so it's going to run. So, I've got to clean out the gas can or gas tank, get some fresh gas, change the oil, and then uh, see about that carburetor. Okay, I've got a pan. I'm going to drain the fuel into this pan. Now I'll have to dispose of that properly later. awkward to do well not blocking the camera but I'm gonna pop that fuel line off I don't need to save it because it's racked anyway I have to replace the whole fuel line all right I'm gonna do that I, I gotta get around here be back in a minute <laughs> that's gas people <laughs> that's gas that is no good at all. It smells just like varnish. 
All right, well, now I've got to check the uh, carburetor. It wasn't much in there, but it's enough to cause trouble and uh, cause an engine to not run because that's going to uh, mess up the carburetor. So I'll pull off the bowl next. Let me get my tools and I'll be right back. To make it easier to pull off the bowl, I'm going to take off this front shield that holds the air filter on. There's just two screws there. Then I can work on this better because this is a big metal plate. And you may note that the two screws are still on here. Okay? And so I don't lose them, I'm going to put these two back in here for now. Because I'm not sure if I have time to finish this job entirely today or not. Normally I would leave everything spread out and do the job and then put it all back together. But I'm not quite sure today. So, get down here. Yeah, take that off. Oh, there's more. Okay, unfortunately, it was full. Oh, it's green. Oh, this poor engine. It's green. Yeah, okay, this engine might not be a quick fix like I thought it was going to be, considering the oil is so bad, and there's green in the carburetor. It's so bad. Let me show you. I've honestly never seen such a thing ever before come out of a carburetor. That sludge that's going into the bottom here is coming from the carburetor, that green, and that's... I have no idea what that is. I've never seen such a thing. So definitely it's going to need a carburetor cleanup. Uh, this engine is uh, in desperate bad shape. Worse than I thought. Never seen green come out of a carburetor in that thick sludge like that. Okay. I got the nut loose. That took a while and I've never had it that tacky to get the nut out. It is disgusting in there. Oh boy. Very bad. Oh. Oh, I thought this was going to be a quick fix. Oh no. Well, that's worse than I thought it was going to be. The float is covered in green sludge. So the carburetor definitely has to come off this engine. There's no doubt about it. It must come off. Okay, the carburetor, I just loosened the screws. I wanted to know if the screwdriver would work at all. The carburetor comes off with two screws, Phillips heads. You want to hold it in place because the linkage is on the carburetor next. That needs to come off. And then, figure out which way it's bent. This way. There you go. Now you don't want to lose that linkage off here. Or if you do, you take it off to remember which way it goes and which end goes where. So this is going to have to go on the workbench for some serious cleaning out and soaking. I'm going to put some carburetor cleaner in the holes here and let it soak a little bit. Um, the top part is at least clean. It might not be as bad as I thought. I'll have to run some wires in there and, uh, and soak it somewhat. Oops. The valve, the little needle fell out. Well, I'll leave that off for now. We'll have to put that back in later. Clean that out too. Well for now guys that's going to be it for a little while. I've got 
I put some carburetor cleaner in the fuel bowl and I put the needle in there to soak. I put some carburetor cleaner in the uh, carburetor itself. I'm letting it soak. You can see the yellow filth coming off of there. So that's going to soak. That's going to soak. The gas tank is still dripping. And the fumes here are horrendous uh, from this varnish. So I'm going to leave for a while and let everything soak and then come back to this later on. So that might be pretty much it for now. Hey guys, I have used some carburetor cleaner and a uh, screwdriver and I scraped out the majority of the sludge and filth from the fuel bowl. Somewhere around here I had a paintbrush. I'm gonna hit that with a brush. I have um, been poking at this with a wire there's two tiny holes in here. There's a really tiny hole and there's a larger hole. And I've been scooping around there with the wire, spraying it with carburetor cleaner, and using an air compressor, which already emptied itself out. I also have used the air compressor on all the holes in the carburetor and got out the sludge as well as I could. I put the needle back in and um, got that all in place. The needle actually looks pretty good, so I think that'll be fine. Now I'm going to put this together, and then we will see what happens if this machine will run. Now the idea, I'm just going to put some gas in a fuel line in this, and then see if it'll burn that gas out, because... If that works, then I'll know that the thing is going to be fine, and then I'll proceed with the rest of the cleanup of the engine and everything else. I also still have to do that oil change, because that oil is nasty. <sighs> now, I did not take out the screw. I don't like to take out the screws, because then you're changing the adjustment. If I rarely ever have trouble with that, if I do, I'll take it back off, just to bowl clean the screw then put it back on the needle actually that is but we'll see how that goes generally I've never had trouble with that it's all the pores up inside the carburetor that give you trouble for the most part and I used about a half a can of carburetor cleaner in this so far to clean it out so I'll take it back over we'll put it on the engine then we'll see how it does so I'm just going to pop this on there. Nothing special or fancy today. We're just going to put it on. And then uh, put some gas in there and see what happens. i got to get my screwdriver. When you're working with the camera, I'm trying to set up the camera. You only got so many hands. So put that in there. I'm doing this outdoors because that varnish stings so I don't like to get fumes in my garage My experience is you don't have to torque this down really, really hard. Get that tight. Make sure that was tight, because that was loose when I first came to this engine. Okay. Now, I'll put a fuel line on there and try to get a little bit of gas in a clean fuel line. Um, oh yeah, I got to change the oil, so I'll do that next, and then uh, put a clean fuel line in there, and uh, see what we can do. See if we can get this to run. All right, I funneled some gas into the carburetor. Let's see what happens. Maybe not. 
and an up in the carburetor. It's awkward because I don't want to, I got to get a new gas line. So I tried to use the old one to funnel some gas in, but it won't reach the gas can. Now I probably don't have enough gas in. I gotta get a new fuel line. I was hoping to get this running today as is, but I have to go to town. There's no other way. It wants to run. Well, that's it for now then. I just have to go get a gas line. And put some gas in that uh, can. I tried to funnel some into the that tiny little gas line just isn't working, but I think we're going to have a working engine. That's enough for today. I've got to clean up. I have to go away and uh, buy myself a fuel line. So we'll be back next time, see if we can get this old beast running. And then we'll have to test the uh, AC lines. So this will be a two-part video anyway. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World. In the off-grid project please like subscribe and share and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget part of that means working on engines for people pay the bills talk to you later